to be painted. They're missing no, pieces. No, are these? no, no, no. You don't paint these. These are fabulous like this. These are from the 50s. These are great. To a toy collector, this is a wonderful piece to put on his mantle. This little truck here would sell for about $500. $500 for this? Yeah. This it is truly amazing. Today, we're talking about hidden riches, not only unclaimed money, but also unknown treasures in your home that you might be able to cash in on. I want you to meet Elizabeth Mason. Elizabeth is a professional treasure finder and the author of the book. It's called The Rag Street Journal. Get it? Wall Street. Rag Street. And while she says it's coming up on garage sale season, don't start getting rid of everything. You might just be sitting on a gold mine. We sent Elizabeth into a typical neighborhood. She went door to door, to door, to door. Invited herself in and headed straight for the basement. Wait till you see the hidden treasures she found stashed under the stairway, buried in boxes, even in Dad's dusty workshop. A cute little thing, a nice little pocket watch. What is this? Oh, 10 karat gold just tossed in an old box. Barbara thought hats worn by her grandmother might be worth something, but it was the hat box that caught Elizabeth's eye. Something like that would be worth about $25. Joyce bought this print years ago because she liked it. So Joyce, what, how much did you pay for that? $7. Wow. Black memorabilia is very collectible. Something like that would probably be worth well over $100. Dorothy found these treasures in Grandma's pantry. This is called carnival glass. And if you're at a carnival, you might have tossed a penny into a dish. And if it landed there, you got this as a prize. But today, something like this, these range somewhere between anywhere $25 to $50 for oh something my. like that. Oh, I don't even need to look at her face. I can tell by these little ringlets. This is probably Shirley Temple. Oh. Shirley Temple belonged to Nancy's mother. And she's in mint condition. That really makes a difference with the value of it. She's obviously been loved and cared for well. Mm -hmm. I would say she's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about eight or $900 doll. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we'll be keeping her, I'm sure. But it's just costume junky jewelry. Linda showed Elizabeth the junk jewelry she inherited. Some costume jewelry actually sells for more than the real thing. A piece like that's worth about $45. Oh, this is a beautiful piece. Insects are very collectible. $75. Those are worth, oh, $20, $25 a piece. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. 14 karat gold Hamilton watch. Probably $200. Just the style of this, I know that this is a Miriam Haskell piece. If you had this at your garage sale, you'd probably be happy to get $2 for it, but this is worth $200. <gasps> oh, my God. These frames are really wonderful. The fact but that you have, have a to do? matching all pair. Up. They have to be Why are they all messed up? Well, they're chucked up. They have, oh, they, they have, have a beautiful up. patina. No, this patina, is, there's yeah, the word. Yeah, that's the word. Okay. <laughs> no, these are gorgeous. And the fact that there's a match set, I, I would say that this would probably go for about $475. Um, I, if you only knew what I have thrown out, not knowing the value. After Linda took the framed family photos out of the basement, Elizabeth told her the value of all that she'd been stashing in her stairway. Your sterling silver set at $2,500, the smaller set at $1,000, that fabulous Miriam Haskell necklace at $200, the silver one that you hate at $125, <laughs> your watches, your Hamilton 14 karat gold watches at $200. I'm figuring it out to at about uh, $4,775, almost $5,000 worth of stuff. Jackie Caddy, move over. I can't believe this. <laughs> Good she is in mint condition. She's beautiful. Yeah. Yes. The pearls. That was fun. Wasn't that fun, ladies? I heard oh, it was It was, was great wonderful. fun. Just having her wonderful. stop in. You say, Elizabeth, most people make the big mistake of underpricing their garage sale items. Oh, absolutely. You just see things tossed on a table and they'll say, oh, 50 cents. I found things in little Ziploc bags, 14 karat gold bracelets for 25 cents. If you're going to have a garage sale, a good thing to do would be to get in a professional appraiser. If Such you as think, yourself. Yes. Yeah. If you think you've got some things you're not quite sure of before you just throw because them Because you believe you can find something of value in just about anybody's garage sale, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Up next.